On a remote, sandy beach, under a full moon, hundreds of strange-looking horseshoe crabs crawl towards shore at high tide. It's a scene that has played out countless times through the eons, as horseshoe crabs existed long before the dinosaurs walked the earth. And strangely enough, these ancient animals have unwittingly become one of our greatest allies in the fight against deadly diseases like COVID-19. Horseshoe crab blood is copper-based instead of iron-based like ours, and it is a baby blue color. Their blood is not contained within a closed circulatory system like in mammals, but rather flows freely throughout their body. This puts the blood and organs in direct contact with seawater and the many potentially fatal pathogens found within. But horseshoe crabs have developed an amazing immune response to deal with this. Horseshoe crab blood cells flow throughout the body, and when a foreign object is detected, the cell releases substances that cause the blood to clot around the invader, isolating and neutralizing it. This clotting immune response does not only respond to live pathogens, but also endotoxins, toxins left behind after a bacteria is killed. Even in a sterile environment, potentially deadly endotoxins can still be present. It is this sensitivity to endotoxins that makes horseshoe crabs so valuable to the medical industry. From horseshoe crab blood, scientists are able to isolate a testing solution that can detect minute traces of contamination in medical equipment or injectable drugs. The LAL test, derived from horseshoe crab blood, is by far the cheapest and most widely used endotoxin test, so there is incredible demand for crab blood. But horseshoe crabs are also critically important for coastal ecosystems. Most of the time, the adult crabs live deep underwater on the seafloor, but spring high tides near a full or new moon trigger them to move inshore in search of mates. This is a male and female horseshoe crab. They've paired up and are mating and are going to lay eggs in this really wet, moist sand. These eggs are gonna provide an amazing amount of food for a huge variety of wildlife, including shorebirds, some of which time their migrations to arrive just at the same time that the horseshoe crabs are laying their eggs. When the horseshoe crabs come up to spawn, biomedical researchers collect them and take them to special facilities where they collect up to a third of their blood before returning them to the ocean. Care is taken to minimize mortality, but mortality for female horseshoe crabs can still be as high as 30%, and crabs that survive sometimes change their behavior and alter their activity. In recent years, horseshoe crabs have declined due to the loss of nesting beaches and overharvest, both for biomedical use and as fishing bait. Their decline has also led to declines in shorebirds, which rely on the crab eggs to help fuel long migrations. But there is good news. 
coastal restoration efforts have increased the nesting beaches available to the crabs, and a new synthetic alternative to the LAL test has been developed using the DNA of crabs, and it does not require blood harvest. Hopefully soon we can stop all blood harvesting operations and let these ancient animals that have saved so many human lives live in peace.